Hey guys, I'm LB, and I am finally getting around to playing Portal Stories Mel. So, uh... Oh, there's an advanced mode apparently. So let, let's get started with story mode. I have never played this game, I know very little about it. I think I might have seen, like, maybe the first couple of puzzles or so? I, I don't really remember, but yeah. Let's see how this goes. I've... I know very little about this. Dave Johnson, and boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life, even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military, but I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing, lots of doing, which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh... Wait... Where are we again? Uh, okay, so... This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but... That doesn't matter. Point is, you're riding there, and you'll soon be... Aperture Science Innovators! We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science! For now though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Did, didn't he say that he gave us the biggest compliment ever and that he also said it's a pre-recorded message? <laughs> I forgot to mute my phone. Let me do that. Time and time again, we'll be okay, my phone's muted. Let's get back to the game. So yeah, it's like a got a lot All of right. life. You're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, go over here. How do you spell station? Think about that for a second. Okay. Does the station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Yeah. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> Screen phase out and load load scene or whatever, load screen. He's barely fit through there. But yeah, that voice actor. Uh, I think that's. Uh, I don't remember his name, but I know the guy because I'm subscribed to him on YouTube. And uh, doesn't sound very much like Cave Johnson, but you know, it's close enough. Aperture testing facility. I can actually get over here. Didn't expect that. Okay, let's get on with things. Now, as I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain, up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry. Make that three minutes. <laughs> What's over here? <laughs> Hello. Oh, he's sleeping. I can hear the sound of him sleeping. That's funny. This looks like, like a Half-Life or Gmod models or something. So I guess we have to go around here. This looks really good. It's a really cool map design. 
Looks like a lot of effort was put into this. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. <laughs> Mushrooms? Oh, I can jump over that. Good. They thought of that. <laughs> Man, this is a cool little environment. What the heck is that thing up there? What is that up there? Is that just a, an issue because of how I have the graphics turned down? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> anyway, just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You all know where to go. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, look at Caroline. So he said that they're on the right, correct? Let's do the left first. Nothing here. sleeping guard up there. <laughs> it's nice that you can they added some areas for you to explore and it's really cool. Man, look at this. Really cool map design. Oh, whoa! That's cool looking. I wanna go there. Wait, is that <laughs> Is that a Halo reference? I think that's a Halo reference. That's hilarious! <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's cool. Cool artwork. Well, if you want to look at more in depth into this artwork, you should buy the game yourself and you'll play it. It's a really cool game. Oh, it's static because there's, there's nobody there to listen. Okay. <laughs> it's nice that you can interact with these things. They actually have the sound for it. Wait, does this system do anything? Yeah, same thing. Okay. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counter said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chickened out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously, those stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. <laughs> it's so cool that these can all be interacted with. That is like, an impressive level of detail. It's also causing my recording to lag, even though the game's running fine. I wonder if I can... fix that real quick. Uh, maybe if I... Wait, multi-core render- oh yeah, multi-core rendering is disabled, so... Not sure what the issue is. Oh well. So, this is nothing. Just gonna walk around here. More doors. One of these days, one of these doors is gonna open. Okay, let's get started. Oh, loading screen. <laughs> There's no artwork for the loading screen, that's unfortunate. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. 
When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine with all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building a bone, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mason. Those guys can kiss my like Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they went their pants and they threw them out the door. I pay the bills. I make the decisions around here. I hire a fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months. So, you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. up into one thing. Not sure if I like that or not, it just kind of seems a bit too meme-heavy. Doesn't seem natural enough, really. But, you know, some people like it. Man, they just went all out on the map design and eye candy here. There's just so much stuff to look at, and so much stuff going on. When you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour, at most, if something goes wrong. <coughs> Don't worry. We ain't got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. That reminded me of Weezy a little bit. Oh, another load screen. <laughs> Man, this is a very long intro sequence. Like, Portal 2's intro sequence is like, you know, Wheatley bangs you around a bit. And this game's intro sequence is a full tour of the facility, which so, is cool. as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep, and then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay the night, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets, they're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> and six signs, boys, disappear because of him. <laughs> Why is this? Why are there cars underground? I mean, I guess maybe they have to drive around to all the different underground facilities. It's kind of odd to see these underground trees and stuff. <laughs> much detail in this. Really impressed. Oh. <laughs> At first I thought that this is kind of solid, but when you get close it does move. It just moves very slowly. I think I have to go in here, yeah, so. Let's go somewhere else first. How about we do that? Okay, let's get going. Music stopped, so that's probably a good indication that I'm taking too long. Or 
Where is everybody? <laughs> Toilets. <laughs> it's like it's out of order. <laughs> oh yeah, it says out of service right there. I'm a dummy. <laughs> Test subject waiting area. Ooh, this looks important. This seems like it will be relevant very shortly here. Oh, we can, we can go upstairs. That's cool. put a lot of detail into these maps. <laughs> Fire door do not block. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely hilarious. They still got humor to them. <laughs> wow, fire door do not block, and it's blocked by boxes. <laughs> Classic. Okay, well, I think it's time that we get going, so let's jump to our deaths. The receptionists, let's just get going, I guess. Don't worry, those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry likes me. <laughs> Keep clear. This is like the old model of turrets? That's cool. <laughs> Up over there. More outdoor area. More pictures. <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay, well, let's start another loading screen, shall we? If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber! Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Ooh, then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. Ooh, pre-rendered cutscene. Mill has red fingernails. That's cool. To the future. That doesn't sound good. Is, uh, is, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right, you can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so Life sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry though, we got shot okay. Nothing's different, nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber, I'll tell you a bit more out there. His voice sounds different. I'm suspicious of that, and also the text color has changed. It's orange instead of white. Maybe, maybe it's because it's not a pre-recorded message. Oh my! Oh my! I don't think I've seen this far. Well, guys, we will continue in the next episode. So, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, have a good day. Bye.